Gary Penkel will return to the Tigers sideline tomorrow. Penkel did not coach in last week's win over Texas Tech. Following his DWI arrest, Pinkle returned to the team on Thursday after serving a one-week suspension. He will coach tomorrow, though, in a border showdown game, which on paper really doesn't look all that close. Kansas opened the season with victories over McNeese State and Northern Illinois. Not exactly powerhouse teams. Since then, the Jayhawks have lost nine in a row, and most of those have not been close. The Tigers are favored by about 25 points and what could be the last game between the border rivals. You know, there's a lot of things when, you know, it's the end of the season, it's been a long grind, with, which college football is. Um, we're getting to play our rival, we're on a two game winning streak. Um, if, you, if you're not excited, I don't know if happy is the right word, but if you're not excited about this, you know, the blood's not pumping through your veins. We both want to get this win, uh, even though they're not having a successful year like they want to. Um, make, getting this win will um, make their entire year. When it comes down to a rivalry game, everyone knows that it doesn't matter what the record is. Uh, whatever team is, com comes up and shows is a team that's going to win and, and get, be on top. So that's something we don't want to look at because we know that no matter how they play this whole season, they're going to kick it up uh, a few notches because we're playing each other and it's such a big rivalry. The Border Showdown will feature a pair of former Jefferson City Jays who happen to play on opposite ends of this rivalry. Read their thoughts and more about tomorrow's big game on our website. Go to Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. High school football at state championship weekend in St. Louis. No mid-Missouri teams making it this year. The big schools, Class 6, playing at this hour. They're late in the third quarter. CBC out of St. Louis with a 30-26 lead on Blue Spring South. Class 4, Webb City beats MICDS for the title. That is the 10th state championship for the Cardinals. Ties them with the Jays and Valley Catholic for the most in Missouri history. Class 2, Higginsville, which beat Blair Oaks in the semis last week. Falls today, Lamar wins the state championship 49-19. Busy weekend of hoops at Mizzou. The Tiger men and women both putting perfect records on the line on their home floor. Robin Finchton and the Tiger women off to a 4-0 start. They will host Wright State at 4 o'clock tomorrow. The Tiger men play on Sunday, 2 o'clock tip with Binghamton. Tigers are 5-0 after winning the CBE Classic in Kansas City earlier this week. College hoops tonight at Columbia College. Bob Burchard and the Cougars. No problems with Central Bible. Look at this. Thievery by Tevin Griffin. The steal and he'll knock down the jump shot. Griffin scored the first 10 points of the game for Columbia. Lays this one in. He had 22 to lead the way. Brock Walker adding a career high 15 points including this trifecta. Cougars win it. 72-50, their fifth victory of the season. Westminster falls on the road in men's basketball tonight, losing to Edgewood College 82-52. And a home opener for the Lincoln University women's basketball team. The Lady Blue Tigers off to a 2-0 start, and they made it look easy tonight against Harris Stowe, Sierra Emerson. To the hoop, off the glass, they liked that. Delia Booker, Offensive board and the stick back. She had 17 tonight. One of five Blue Tigers in double figures. LU went over the century mark for the first time in 15 years. They win it 102 to 45. Lincoln 3 0 on the year. Columbia loses for the first time this season in women's hoops. Missouri ST beats California State. And season opener on the high school hardwood for the Rockbridge Lady Bruins. They win 62. 28 over Troy. On the ice in St. Louis, Blues and Ken Hitchcock skating against the Calgary Flames. Look at the effort here in the first period. David Backus, the captain, short-handed to the net. That's a goal, 1-0 Blues. They would add another in the third period. Nice speed out front to Alex Petrangelo, 2-0. That was the final score. Brian Elliott, 24 saves in net, his third shutout of the season. Blues are playing very, very well under their new head coach. Yeah, they really are. We mm -hmm. can see a great year for St. Louis if they Hopefully come through. Hopefully they will keep too. it up, yeah. Thanks.